today's challenge is taking me way out of my comfort zone. The rules are draw the best picture as you run. We need to draw a self portrait with our GPS route. But here's the trick. It has to be exactly 10 kilometers. Bang on or you're disqualified. So think of it like musical chairs. As soon as we hit 10K, we must stop our watches. And the best portrait is gonna be decided by you guys. And the worst part is we haven't even been allowed to plan our drawings. It's just freestyle, run and draw. And starting in three, two, one, let's go. My tactics are to come to a beautiful North London country park and focus on my face. There's been a lot of money spent on this face. <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, and <laughs> I'm just gonna really chisel out those features on a big open field. Okay, so my tactics are find a big open space and I reckon side profile is actually the way to go. Oh, also I need to remember which line I took so that I can go back over it if I need to make up any extra distance. Right, okay, super simple tactics for this one. I reckon everyone else is gonna overcomplicate it. All I'm gonna do is draw a big, round, nice, simple face. I've got a big forehead, so need to make sure I've got a lot of height before I do my eyes. Hair I'm gonna struggle with, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I wonder how long my face is meant to be. What's that then? Okay, that's the back of the head. Hang on, don't you draw the neck? I moisturised this morning, so all the contours should be a lot smoother. So I'm going to try and reflect that in my art. Here I am now, caressing the top of the head. I'm slightly worried it might be a bit eggy. Forehead, rounded off. I think we definitely picked the least artistic presenters for this challenge. I mean, no offence Rick and Jess, but I don't think these are going to be making it into a gallery. I was going to say, they're quite like art. I did art at AS level, so depending on how well this goes, I'm not sure if I want to admit that or not, really. If it's bad, cut that out the edit. Tom's actually done art as a degree, and Andy's just annoyingly good at everything, so I'm glad they're not involved, but I would like to see them have a go. Right, before I left the house this morning, I did take a cheeky side profile pic, so I'm just taking a look at that to, uh, Remind myself of the features. Uh, yeah, perfect. And how big is a smile? Nice, okay. I think we should do that thing with the kid where like, you do like a little dimple. Just to make it, make it definite that I'm smiling. So we're gonna start on the hair. This is looking good. Wavy hairline, wavy at the top tactic keep running but pause the watch and find the eyebrows and there's a whole lot of eyebrow to do update three kilometers in um i think i've just completed the outer line of my face so i'm back to where i started have realized i haven't done ears so either i don't have ears or I'm going to have to go left and out a bit. I don't think I've left enough space for my nose. Right, I'm going to have to have a smaller nose than I've got. Let's go up a little lip out here. Okay, all the cars looking at me. Right, stop the watch. Eyebrows done. Kilometre on each of those. Now a kilometre on the eyes. So this is all about squash circles. Squash circles. That's going to look like a rubbish ear. Okay. I think now I'm coming down the middle of my face, which I think should be about 500 meters long. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some eyes. I'll tell you what, this would be way easier in New York. Our faces would be a bit square, but a grid would make this so much easier. Okay, I recommend my forehead now. Oh, I actually have a really small forehead. I better not make that too big. I think I've cut in too much. Okay, I'm just gonna have to have a big forehead. Oh my God, I forgot my eye. I'm gonna have to go back. I can't, I can't find anywhere to do my second eye. Maybe there. I feel like my eyes are too much on one side of my face. This is all about the pupil of the eye. Everything is about getting the pupil right. Get the pupil in the right space. Everything else on the face will be balanced. Oh, one eye is gonna be way bigger than the other one. I need to go through here. No gate. 
4k right i've got to draw my eye so i reckon we start with an eyelash out here back in here can't remember where i stopped the nose there that's the problem maybe around a little circle here my first eye was that way that was my second eye and now i can see it opening up in front of me it's like a triangle so i can do the nose it might be a bit closer to one eye than the other but that's okay let's do it i think my nose is rather unportly in its shape so if i just work on going a simple triangle with a couple of nostrils at the end i think we should be good and again i don't know is my nose portly don't answer that just making my ponytail and i reckon we've got a bit of volume for this so i can go wild i just need to go up and down this same road loads of times but like different different strands so what volume is her okay i've gone past where my neck would be so got to be accurate with this long hair check now i just need to go up and down this same road a lot of times oh i should probably do this on top of my head as well actually yeah back down the nose mouth hair let's go there is absolutely no way Rix is going to be better he can't he can't have thought all of this through he's got the attention span of a See that green cup? That green cup is the bottom of my nose. One kilometre on the nose. One kilometre on the nose. Proper lost my sense of direction now. Oh, bum, I think that's my nose. This is not going well. I hope Jess and Rick are failing as well. Let's pretend this is my face, this is how I'm drawing it. So my hand is stuck. Oh no. Am I going? No, I am going this way. Right, imagine this. There's my eye. Oh, eyebrow. Forgot about those. Oh, I didn't do an ear either. Thank you, green cup. Pick up somebody's drop green cup, place in bin. Where was the... I've just picked up the green cup before I've done the mouth. Why didn't I pick it up after I'd done my mouth? What a muppet. I'm just going to have to work out where the mouth starts. I assume it's here. We've got the, the hay. I've just realised the side profile has the majority hair, which means I've got a lot of colouring in to do. I wonder if Sarah's committed to drawing her long hair as well. Our images might actually look pretty identical. So I'm at the ear right now, and I'm going to recreate the hairstyle that I have right now. So I'm going to go back round to where I started and do like zigzags across the road. When I get back to where my other ear was, I'm gonna run out slightly and do a plant. Just drawing the ear. Now I guess my ear joins up with the rest of my hair. I never analyzed my face this much. Oh, do you know what? I actually think Rick's gonna boss this. If he puts half as much thought into it as his skincare routine, I reckon he's got this in the bag. And there's no competing with Rick's skincare routine. I'll tell you that. Teeth, windy, bendy teeth. Finishing off Rick's face with windy, yet straight, straight, windy, yet straight teeth. Getting quite dizzy doing this. Literally just zigzagging. And if this looks like a straight line in the final drawing, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Have you ever tried Strava art? I'm so interested. Let me know what you've drawn in the comments. And also, if you give me some tips, actually, while you're there, that would be so good. Because I don't think this is going so well. One kilometre left. I just need to draw the hair. And then I think, in my mind, I've drawn my whole face. This is so ridiculous. But I'm doing a hairband. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm doing a sprint finish. I feel like I'm rushing to like try and get more distance. I think I've got enough. I'm just going to get to the bottom of the ponytail again. I've done a little flick at the bottom. Bear that in mind with your votes. Absolutely key. I don't go over. Ready, steady, stop! 99.99. Keep on track. 10. 10. There we go. Stop the watch. I think I did all right there. It's no Picasso. 
But the others aren't exactly Monet, are they? I hope. <laughs> God, I'm so scared to see what this looks like. <laughs> Please resemble a human being. We already submitted our results to the community to find out who won the competition. Obviously they were anonymous, otherwise it would be a very hard popularity contest. Very, so. very difficult indeed. And now <laughs> right. we've discovered, Jess, that yours looks like a sirloin steak. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's side profile. I only, I always have a steak-like profile. Who she thinks is the best? I mean, that's very abstract. That's abstract. That's abstract. what I was going for. That's, 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 that's for. one Honestly, way to Honestly, I didn't even it. think about doing side profile. I'm also, I'm really annoyed about Rick's. I actually can't I believe you did it so well. well. Thank you. Yeah. Well, because because I've never won a challenge before. We'll find out now if I have. <laughs> yeah, in five years. Mine looks like Frankenstein's monster with it the vulture at its head. Right, yeah. Owen, put us Owen. out of our misery. Okay, so the results are in. The community have spoken, and I'll see who's won. So in third place, with only six percent of the votes, was Jess. Oh, <laughs> I mean, fair. That was that was only my all, friends that voted. All your them. mates. Yeah, yeah. basically, I've got six percent of friends. <laughs> and not too not too far off in second place was Sarah with eight <laughs> percent. Well done, Sarah. And how does how does that leave it? Sorry, <laughs> an absolutely outstanding victory in first place. Rick with eighty six. Well, well, you two. <laughs> No speech. Here comes yeah. the speech. You two, I'd like to just let you know that you've lost to a boy who was a 13 year old. His art teacher told him that it wasn't just a waste of time him tending the class, but a waste of school funding. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you proved them Go wrong. Go back to the school with that picture and show them what yeah. happened. Show them what you've achieved. Let us know what you think. Do you agree? Tell us in the comments below, and if you like this, check out our latest challenge where we had to run a negative splits 5K.